Happy Monday. It is Magical Monday and Linda Joy coming to you for Magical Mondays. Welcome. I'm just waiting for... Okay, now I've got up the correct page for people. Sorry, before it actually came up with my business page, but I go live on my Facebook page and I wanted to see your comments. For anyone who would like a quick card reading, though what I'd like to do today is talk about what Mercury retrograde actually may entail for you and what it actually, how it will affect your life. Because like I've been talking about, the planets and all the movement um, that is happening planetary astrology and energetically um, is affecting every individual and it's a, a very exciting time so um, thanks for joining Pranav good to see you here and um, hi Steve great to have you here so uh, welcome 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 okay now, what a Mercury retrograde started last Friday, Friday the 21st, and for the next three weeks until Sunday, the May the 14th, um, we are in Mercury retrograde. Now, usually what Mercury is, because it's the planet of communication, and and also it can also when it's retrograde cause disruptions so this is where it's good to actually have um, a backup on your computer be very careful about communicating with uh, individuals or how you're communicating because um, there can be misunderstandings and miscommunication but also in regards to what else is happening energetically and with the planets and I mentioned this last week is that it is bringing up a lot of emotions to the surface okay I mentioned this in regards to family and um, and also being triggered and the truth coming to the surface not not just for you individually but the truth coming to the surface on the planet and there's a lot of um, things that have been in discussion that have been pushed down and you may see all of uh, the darker energies um, and the truth coming out so it's actually a really good thing but also it's and especially as we move into the lunar eclipse next Friday on May the 5th this is a really important time for you to go within and look at those dark parts of yourself this could be the shadow side it could be any of your unconscious beliefs anything in the subconscious on how you're being and so that you can fully show up in the world as your true authentic self so looking at all those parts within yourself and being true to yourself and and, and taking some time out to reflect and really um, look at reevaluating your life you know really it's all all the yards right reflect reevaluate and and re uh just just release re release it all release um everything that is no longer working for you and this could be childhood stuff this could be anything that is um maybe you know anything from your childhood that may have been traumatizing to you or you've created an old pattern or program which has been running your life and that shows in your personality in your behavior why you do the things that you do so in the next few weeks I really encourage you all to go within and do some deep 
deep inner work and journaling and then use the full moon to burn anything that is ready to be released okay so release and let go and and you know and you can do this burning at any time forgiveness um for anyone who has wronged you or hurt you or betrayed you um so looking at any parts of yourself that is holding on to those emotions and looking at um any of those behaviors or habits that you're doing that you really choose to upgrade, upgrade your consciousness, upgrade how you're being, because energetically, that's the energy you're putting out in the world. So as we all upgrade and shift consciousness, expand awareness, this is a beautiful opportunity for you to come back to your heart and ask yourself, you know, who do I choose to be? And who am I being currently? And is there a gap? Is there uh, areas of, of my life that require some cleaning up? And even um, thinking about any family members where you may feel triggered by any family members right now. And if there's emotional charge there, well, then that's an area to clean up. Because when you can come to a place of neutrality and peace in your heart, every time you think of that person or that family member or that situation or circumstance, whatever is happening in your life, and you really, truly, 100% feel ease and peace, then you know you've transmuted that charge you've transformed that whole story, that whole program that has been running your life. Does that make sense? Let me know in the chat if that makes sense. So Mercury retrograde, this is your time to just retreat. Retreat and have some downtime, quiet time, and just retract from the world so quiet time for you listen to your body and so it's interesting um over the weekend I was working on clients and there seems to be a theme for people they're just exhausted and their body is just holding on to so much stress and anxiety and just there's so so many layers of energy um, and restriction being held in the body so use the next few weeks to just give yourself that time to let go okay so important and nurture you and really um, slow down slow down because when you slow down it will give you the opportunity um, to look at those areas that are coming to the surface to be released and and those areas to let go of and so that is a perfect opportunity when you just stop listen listen to your inner guidance and, and do some journaling, um, do, well, whatever works for you. Go out in nature. Go out and connect with nature. Um, nature spirits, talk to the animals and, and use that time to just have quiet in your mind. Something that I've recently started in the month of April to quiet my mind is ice baths so you we do the Wim Hof uh, breathing the deep breathing beforehand and then jump in the ice bath and if you saw my post on Facebook I'm holding a, a block of ice while in the ice bath what that does is brings your mind you, you can't think of anything else except to breathe and breathe and then become 
peaceful and at one and friends with the cold ice because it's all in your mind so it really brings you into the present moment and there's other ways of doing it but this is a really intense quick way of coming into the present moment and so I'd highly recommend it if that's something that you're curious about uh, otherwise do your meditation, do whatever works for you, connect with nature and uh, do your journaling and just sit and quiet, you know, maybe uh, go to a park, go to your favourite park and just sit, you know, and talk to the ants. <laughs> and But it's really about just contemplating within, you know, or look at the sunrise or the sunset and just go into that place of nothingness and just quiet, quiet all the chatter in your mind. Highly recommend it. Okay. So the energy has been really intense and just letting you know we are now in Taurus. Now, I am a Taurian, so yes, May is my birthday month. And I'm proud to be a Taurian, though apparently one of our traits or characteristics is stubbornness. Now, because the energy of the planets um, are moving, we're now in Taurus, but we also have Mars, which is, you know, all this force, but Capricorn is also um, another fixed sign. So we have two fixed signs, Capricorn and Taurus, both fixed sign. So that's why I'm, I'm encouraging you, if you are a, a, someone who is a little bit stubborn, um, this is just take a step back and look at those areas, okay, and be an open up, open up and to change. Okay, so be open to change and willing to make a change in, in your life. Re really important. And so, ah, so Steve is saying scuba diving. Ah, in cold water. Absolutely. Yes. Um, Okay, so yeah, and, and this actually, um, when it comes to relationships, um, and thanks for commenting on that, Steve, when it comes to relationships, um, this is where, you know, and I mentioned this last week, is when you're going in two different directions, well, then maybe you're not meant to you know, continue on that path. That's why doing your inner work, both doing your inner work is so important in a relationship to make the relationship strong and healthy and and not relying on the other person to fill you up. But when there's been a, a, a breakup or some kind of disruption, it really comes back to the relationship with yourself and, and how you can rebuild your life based on your values. So what's important to you and clean up those areas that um, may have caused any breakdown of communication or breakdown within the relationship. And all relationships, you don't need to be married to somebody or, you know, it can be friendships as well. And, and, and when you're true to yourself, that's where you go, hmm, does this relationship enhance my life or drain my life? And when you're really true to yourself, and it's like, hmm, we have different values here. And what I'm looking for, because we outgrow people, right? And this is where we are all moving up that emotional scale to come back to what's important to us, but also to feel that love and peace and joy in our heart. So if you're around somebody that doesn't uh, bring 
those qualities to the table when you're around them and you can feel this just listen listen to your body and you can feel those emotions um if you walk away from a conversation or a gathering and it's like oh why do I just feel icky or, or just heavy or drained or maybe zapped of energy? You may be at a workplace where there's certain people or certain teams or certain energy when you walk in and, and you just a zapped of energy. So this is why when you learn tools and techniques to enhance your energy, but also you are your own GPS and what energy you're emitting and radiating is what you will attract back. So when you take full responsibility of the energy that you're radiating out, well, then your relationships around you will automatically change. And so it really comes back to the relationship with ourselves, doing your own inner work, cleaning up your own backyard, and then raising your energy vibration and frequency. So when you're putting that energy out to the world, you will be attracting similar vibration of people and events and circumstances and situations that resonate at that vibration of peace and love and joy and happiness. And so focus on um, where are you on that scale? Remember, there's only two emotions, love and fear. So when you get up in the morning, what are you tuning into? Is it love or fear? Do you wake up worrying about all the things that um, are happening and um, the, the, the stories in your head of, you know, well, this sucks and this doesn't work and so-and-so did this to me and, uh, and blah, 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 and not even the dog came to me and then you make that mean something and you create a story which then those stories create anxiety and, and, and it's just this constant spiral down. So you're the co-creator. You are creating everything in your life. So when you can take responsibility for what you're creating and what energy that you're putting out there, then that's where you will start to make positive changes in your life and transform your life. Does that make sense? Let me know. And we can always set up a, a quick clarity call if you'd like to book in for that. There's a link on my website. Happy to have a one-to-one -one conversation with you. But just letting you know that the energy for May, and we start May next Monday, it's intense. So please take this time to take a step back from a lot of activities and take some quiet time for you. Okay, I have the Archangel Michael cards here and I will choose a card and see what is coming through. And um, Steve, that makes lots of sense. Tips for turning negative into positivity. Yes, and thanks for adding that, Steve. It's, you know, it, it's not even looking at it as a negative because, again, that's a judgment, right? And so if we're looking at something and judging it, it it's like, well, you know, there's a, a negative energy that we're actually putting into it. So how do we turn something or transmute the energy and transform the energy and the situation and what do we choose um, what's the outcome we choose instead of what's happening and and this is where you know really being true to yourself um, if you're looking at a situation you have a choice do, do you stay or walk away or how do you feel about it and if it's um, a situation, just say, 
you um, and and Steve, tell me if you've got an example. Um, but you're getting together with a, a group of people, and so actually, I'll use an example. Um, on I, I I go to the gym, and on a Sunday morning, I um, do Pilates, and um, a couple of the ladies said, "Come and have coffee," and one of the ladies. It's like everything that came out of her mouth, it was just um, a lot of complaining, a lot of whinging, a lot of whining, a lot of, you know, this and that. I won't go into detail. And I was listening and because I'm a good listener, though, um, I just went, wow, because I'd never had coffee with these ladies before. And, and it's like, okay, how do I lighten up the energy here? And I said to the other lady, so what's the highlight of your day so far? And then she went on and, you know, and, and she was quite, you know, uplifted and um, chatty. And so this is where it, it's you have a choice um, who you hang out with. So I have a choice to knowing knowing where they're at, do I want to go and have um, coffee and hang out with these people? And the answer is no. I'm very choosy who I associate with and who I spend time with. And so that's where, you know, using your discernment um, is very important because, you know, we're, we're energy beings and how we, um, we're being when we're around others it's like how can we walk away and enhance each other's energy and walk away feeling enhanced and feeling that little up you know up of energy and vibration and as human beings you know we we are creatures of habit of wanting to be in community so choose your community and choose who you spend your time with okay so okay i'm going to choose a card from archangel michael and let's see what he has to say about this subject ah, okay so this is the card Use your imagination and you'll see the answer. So the message is, dear God, thank you for granting me the wisdom and creativity to see your miracles in new and un unexpected ways. I gratefully and gracefully accept and appreciate your help and then describe the situation. So this is perfect. So if there's a situation where... Let's use the family situation um, before getting together with family or a, a gathering or whatever. Just ask the question, you know, please help me because this is the outcome that you want. And if there's family members that trigger you, ask for guidance and help to help you be around because sometimes family members yes that they, they do trigger us so the message here is the angels are giving you guidance and answering your prayers yet their messages may seem out of the ordinary and unexpected so you'll need to use your imagination to understand them let go of the preconceptions or old beliefs of what of what won't or can't happen. The angels have unlimited resources and they've orchestrated a, a solution that you can see if you believe that everything is possible. Very important. See, this is where we create the outcome that we choose and focus on the outcome that you choose. So with the family situation, how do you choose to walk away from that situation? And, and 
this is where, you know, stories in our head that how we can create anxiety because anxiety is just something that hasn't even happened yet, but you've created that story and you're putting that story out into your future and then all the emotions and all that energy of your thinking and to that story and your focus on the story that you created that hasn't even happened, you have put that out in your timeline and it, it's just crazy because it's like, well, hang on, you have the power to go, what, what is the outcome I choose to have from this situation or this relationship or this outcome um, of a circumstance, whatever it is, and you fill in the blank. So other possible meanings is sit down with pen and paper and start brainstorming. Move forward with your idea, no matter how far-fetched it may seem. Your ideas are the answers to your prayers. You're fully supported as you pursue your dreams. Jot down a list of what you believe can't or won't happen and then burn it as a way of opening your mind to all possibilities. Know that you deserve to receive heaven's guidance and gifts. So... Perfect. It, it basically follows on from what I was saying before. Look at the areas in your life where you feel stuck, that you feel heavy, the any um, behaviours, thoughts, old programs, patterns, old paradigms, any old trauma, any childhood stuff, and write it all out and burn it and let it go. So the energy for the month of May is all about letting go and letting go, letting go of anything because we are all going through a rebirth right now. The In June, the energy will shift and things will slow down, but right now we are on the rocket ship. Every The energy is so intense, it's accelerated. And so that while Mercury is retrograde, use this time to just reflect, retreat, to restore, restore your, your connection with yourself, restore your relationship with, with your higher self and, and with your soul and, and come back. That's, that's in my uh, program of my five R's, but th this is just something that you can do right now and just slow down because there's going to be so many, when you slow down, you open yourself up to receive the clarity coming from source from your higher self and you create space in your life to receive those messages, receive the insights, receive uh, the ahas and the messages, okay? And thank you for listening, everyone, and um, wave, wave wave to everyone on Instagram as well as on Facebook and so that was a message from Archangel Michael and now I will choose a message from the sacred light and these are the ascension cards and these Cards I'm still exploring. You know, each time I, I choose a card, they are it's new messages. So that's that's the card. They're just the artwork is amazing. And let me know if you've got any questions. So Steve, thank you. Learning to take little steps and think about me feels very strange, but in seeing the opportunities on the way, I'm writing my burn list. It feels empowering. Awesome. Awesome. And the more, yes, you just keep burning, burning those lists 
uh, and this is a ceremony we do for the full moon. Um, when I do the full moon meditations, we do a burning ceremony and burn away everything that you are letting go of. Now, the next full moon will be the lunar eclipse. So another very powerful day. Uh, last Wednesday, we had the solar eclipse for the new moon. And on Friday, the 5th of May will be the uh, full moon lunar eclipse. And to just let you know, those in Australia, this will be my last meditation that I will be facilitating. Um, I'm moving on to other projects and the meditations will be included in my packages and programs for corporate and for the health and wellness programs. So next Friday, the 5th of May, if you'd like to come to my last uh, full moon meditation, join me. And it's in Brisbane, 7 p.m. in East Brisbane, online or in person. So that's my announcement. No more individual meditation groups. Okay. This is the card I cho chose right now. It's Can you see that? It's um, the glare. So Cosmic Gateway. And the message there is insecurities, connection with others, and refocusing. Wow. So again, let's see what else, because just reading that, we are all, like I said, we're going through a rebirth. We're all going through this cosmic gateway. The, the reason why I'm doing the ice baths and I actually put my face in the ice, because what this does is opens up your third eye. Your third eye is the portal to the universe. When you open up your third eye, it's everything expands. You, you let go of this, this physical beingness because you're an unlimited multidimensional being. And when you open up that portal, everything opens up because you're so expansive and unlimited and amazing and magnificent. And so I, I really encourage you, you know, even um, at home, what you could do is get a bowl of water and put ice cubes in it and then hold your face in it. Now, just warning, it is intense. It is really intense. But what it will do is just open up. That's the fastest way to open up your third eye. So there's a little tip for today. Okay, the message from the Cosmic Gateway, and let me just put some enhancers on. So the Cosmic Gateway is a portal that connects souls to the universal multiverse is accessible via trance states and meditation through our central light column, opening the cosmic gateways to the soul's sacred light. Like a flower, nurturing and care of its environment allows the soul to bloom in its own precious time. The path to self-realization is filled with conscious awakenings. Our mind is a powerful tool that when fully open and activated can connect our being to light sources unimaginable to the naked eye. When the sacred light of the cosmic gateway shines upon the world, the individual acceleration of self-awareness through self-realization can reveal the body's capability of healing itself. Ascension Master Yogananda announces that you are in a time of great personal change and growth. Don't be afraid to start over again or of finding fresh ways to support the life you want with joy and happiness. 
If you feel overwhelmed, reduce excessive workloads as you work through this process. Yogananda suggests practicing self-realization as you work through any feelings of sadness or melancholy you have about the past or what you are seeking to change. Challenge yourself to try new things or join a self-help group that aligns with your global or personal interest. So balance will restore when the mind is restored. And the affirmation is, I am my own master. I hold the answers within and my energy is limitless. Well, that is just a beautiful confirmation of everything that we've just been talking about, okay? You're an unlimited, amazing being and you came here to co-create here on this playground that we call Earth and, and you're unstoppable. So look at the areas where you're stopping yourself because it's all an illusion. It's not true. And this is your time to become self-realized and, and actually really look at yourself and realize, real eyes, look at the language of that, real eyes and be your real, real self, your true self. And, and self-awareness. So, and, and allow yourself to go through this healing process, you know, during the Mercury retrograde, really important. Um, and balance will restore when the mind is restored. And restore is one of my steps in my 5R program, in the Ben Renewal program. And restore is one of the steps that I actually take people through. So if you'd like more information on that, it is on my website. And I will be doing a five-day challenge in June, the first week of June. So just giving you a heads up that if you'd like to join my five-day discovery, it is going to be free, free as my gift to really help people through this transformative time that everybody is going through. We're, we've been on a roller coaster for uh Many years, you know, the last few years has been a, a testing ground for everybody. And yes, it has been quite traumatic for a lot of people, but this is where you get to take your power back and really stand strong and, and remember how powerful you are because nothing can hurt you, harm you or destroy you. So any challenges in your life, Look at them, face them, transform it into what you choose it to be and the outcome that you choose. That's how powerful you are. You can transform and transmute anything. Okay, on that note, I will love and leave you and wish you a magical week full of miracles and Go out and, like we talked about, you know, is just go out and just be. Be in nature. Have that quiet time. And to write out your list, burn it. Do whatever you can for the next few weeks to just slow down and go and create those miracles in, in your life because they're all around you. And remember how powerful you are. You are the co-creator. Sending you many blessings, much love. Thanks for everyone for joining. And if you've got any um, questions or you, if you'd like to, um, uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, if you've got any questions you can also um, send me a direct message 
or send me an email at linda at lindaben.com or book a clarity call via my website at lindaben.com. Until I get to see you or speak to you or talk to you very soon on Zoom or in person, I send you much love, many blessings. Have a magical day, magical Monday, magical week. Bye for now. And bye on Facebook. See you soon.